Hi, I'm the Malt Activist and today I'm going to be reviewing the Ben Romach 100 Proof. This is a 10 year old whiskey served at 57%. Uh, the distillery Ben Romach has quite an interesting past. Uh, it, was, uh, it was opened in 1898 and before it could really produce any kind of spirit, it was shut down thanks to the whiskey depression of 1900. It was reopened, uh, changed hands, uh, uh, owners, uh, so on and so forth, until in 1983 it was shut down again. Uh, and then 10 years later in 1993, independent bottlers GNM, Gordon and McPhail, who always had a dream to run and own a distillery, decided that Ben Ramach was the one and so they invested um, in uh, sort of reopening and restructuring the uh, distillery. In, uh, it was actually inaugurated by Prince Charles himself and finally I think in uh, 2004 they started bottling uh, whiskies. Um, Ralphie, the uh, whiskey YouTube legend, uh, rated the Benramach 10, the 43%, uh, as his whiskey of the year. So naturally, I was very, very intrigued. I'm, I'm a big fan of Ralphie. So I, I ended up buying uh, the 10 year old. But while I was doing that, I noticed that they also had a 57% 100 proof version of the 10 year old as well. And so I bought that. And so tonight, while I was sitting down having a tasting, um, and I was having both, I had the 10 year old and uh, I had this 57% uh, 100 proof uh, next to it, I realized that this, this particular whiskey is the reason why I do what I do, um, whiskey blogging. <laughs> Um, I had the 10, the 10 is very nice and uh, I'll, I'll post that review soon but it's, it's really this 100 proof that I really want to talk to you about. It is absolutely gorgeous, seriously. And, uh, and, and I think the reason for it is that when, when GM, GNM took over Ben Ramach, they decided that it was really, really important that this particular spirit was modeled around the true classic space art flavors of the 1960s and uh, so when so when they bought the distillery they also bought a lot of the um, old Ben Romach um, spirit that was maturing and I believe they bought it back from Diageo to use as a benchmark uh, in terms of the flavors and the aromas that the 1960s style whiskey had and really even the even the process even the whiskey making process is is a throwback to that era um, I, was, I was just reading up on it and they say that th there's only one computer in the uh, distillery and that's just used to check emails and the entire distillery is run by three people which means that everything is done or every decision is made based on the skill and the craftsmanship of the people that run the distillery including the master blender uh, master distiller sorry so um, so I'm, I'm extremely um, uh, fascinated uh, when something like this happens because you know it I, I love anything that's traditional and and in in an era when all the distilleries are going for that sort of no age statement, commercialism, profit is is the only thing that we care about. Uh, there's there's a distillery that you know um, believes in its craft, uh, believes in in traditionalism, believes in what the whiskey should stand for, and I think Ben Ramach is doing that, and it's, and I think it's doing it quite quite fantastically. So this particular whiskey, um, I've already had it, and uh, it's it's got a very very nice sort of deep gold uh, color to it, and that's thanks to the Oloroso finish. So basically, um, it, it's an interesting sort of maturation process. Uh, Eighty percent of uh, the whiskey is matured for nine years in bourbon barrels. Twenty percent of the whiskey is matured in um, sherry hogshead for nine years and then in, for the final one year they're sort of married together in, in an Oloroso first fill uh, cask 
and this is what you have a lovely lovely um, color oh, the smell is amazing uh, getting right to the nose the sherry is obvious the Olorosa influence uh, definitely uh, there chocolate oak uh, dates dark fruit fudge is very earthy um, dark currant jam strawberries there's oak uh, cinnamon I get peas for some reason uh, there's a hint of ginger red apple and of course there's there's a lot of vanilla in this and um, the peat is not very strong in this one but um, the spirit is actually distilled from uh, partly uh, peated uh, barley and uh, it's peated to about 12 ppm approximately uh, so the, you will get uh, a bit of smoke uh, and a bit of peat uh, in this uh, t uh, in this style of whiskey and, and and it's quite sad that you know sort of the the current sort of space ciders have decided to forego the use of peat in their whiskies when when originally you know uh, that's what space side whiskies uh, would reflect and since peat was a, was a staple sort of fuel to dry the barley and and I like the fact that Ben Romach is em embracing that it's got a lovely balanced nose and I and and I like the way the Oloroso has been used normally what happens is Oloroso sherry is, is, is a very strong sherry and what it does is it imparts so much flavor on it that it it sort of masks the actual essence of the whiskey in my opinion. Uh, but when, con when, when used in a sort of controlled manner such as this, it can work wonders. Definitely feels like a 57%. Uh, this has a lot of tobacco. This is the first thing that that, that I get. A lot of tobacco, tobacco leaf. The sherry is there. Um, some bitter chocolate, cinnamon, maple syrup. Uh, there's Christmas cake, rum toffee, um, a bit of caramel, and with 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 a hint of oak. The finish is nice and long. Uh, also tobacco, a uh, hint of mint, uh, and uh, that oak is back again. This is this is truly, in my opinion, one of the one of the best whiskies that I've had uh, off late. It swims like fish. I'm just going to grab a bit of water. It's probably about less than half a teaspoon. Mix it drier uh, with water. Um, the tobacco comes out more. Even the peat and the smoke uh, accentuates. So I like this with a touch of water actually. Uh, what I've been doing recently is pairing dark chocolates once I've finished the tasting, obviously. Uh, and I have my notes in place. Is um, is pair pair my whiskies with with dark chocolates? What I have here is a seventy percent uh, dark chocolate with truffles. It's uh, it's a Canadian brand called Kirkland. It's one of my favorites. Um, and after cherry jamming, this combination is out of this world. Have a bit of the chocolate. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm saying. Have a bit of the chocolate, let it coat your mouth. And once you're done, take a sip of the whiskey. Mm. Oh, this is so good, I can't even tell you. So yeah, um, if you can, get your hands on this Ben Romach 100 proof 
it is absolutely gorgeous.